you're here because you want to draw the Lewis structure of aluminum sulfide. The darkened staircase on this periodic table is semi-metals. It separates the metals on the left side from the non-metals on the right side. Aluminum is on the left and so is a metal. Sulfur is on the right and so is a non-metal. That's important because when you combine the two, you get an ionic compound. And those are formed by the transfer of electrons from metal to non-metal. What electrons? Well, aluminum is in group 13. And so each aluminum atom brings three valence electrons with it. One, two, three, bam, bam, bam. Sulfur is in group 16. So it brings six valence electrons with it. I'll give myself an S with the one, two, three, four, five, six valence electrons. Now, what we said is that the metal will transfer electrons to the non-metal. Non-metals want eight electrons each. That's the octet rule, and it's what makes non-metal atoms stable, or like a noble gas. So, having brought six electrons with itself, it only needs two more to get eight. So here comes the seventh electron, transferred from the metal, aluminum. And here comes number eight. Beautiful, now the sulfur has eight electrons and is stable. But we still have an electron on aluminum. Where's it going to go? Well, the answer is bring in another sulfur atom. One, two, three, four, five, six valence electrons. And that will give that electron a place to go. There we go. Now that aluminum's happy. It's given away all its electrons. But alas, this sulfur brought six and gained one. That's still only seven electrons. Where is it going to get an eighth octet rule? The answer is another aluminum. One, two, three electrons for the aluminum. And this aluminum can give its electron away to become sulfur's eighth. Now, we're almost there, but this aluminum has two extra electrons to give away. So, a third sulfur with six valence electrons can accommodate exactly two more electrons. One, two. Oh, yes. Now we have all of our sulfurs gaining two electrons each to become stable, and each of the aluminums giving away three electrons each to becoming stable. Perfection. What you'll notice is that you have two aluminums giving its electrons away across three sulfurs. And so the chemical formula for aluminum sulfide is Al2S3. But you came for the completed Lewis structure. So give yourself a sulfur in the middle with eight electrons around it. And that's two more than it brought originally. So that means it has a charge of minus two. The charge here makes it an ion. Oh, look, it's an ionic compound. Then you can give yourself an aluminum. Each of the aluminums should have no electrons around it because they gave away all three of them. Now I like to alternate my plus and minus charges just to represent what happens in the real world. And I still need two more sulfurs. So I'm gonna try to squeeze one in over here with its minus two charge and eight electrons. I don't know if I can fit one in here. I should have planned that better with its minus two charge. There's your completed Lewis structure for aluminum sulfide. Now this kind of makes it look like it's all one molecule. It's a lattice where all of the ions kind of interconnect with each other, but you can't be expected to show that in a Lewis structure. So here you are, full marks is what I say. Best of luck to you.